Hello there, I hope you had an amazing Christmas day and continue to enjoy your holidays. It's only Boxing Day, this is where the real fun begins, at least for me it's normally when family come over and today we'll be taking a look at all of the Lego January sets. It'll only be quick, there are like 200 sets in this video alone so I'm not going to cover them in too much detail but January 1st I am dedicating hours of my life to making a detailed video covering all of them so if you do want to see a few more sets in detail i'll hopefully be able to break up that video by theme so you can see at the bottom like today i'll probably try to break it up by theme but there are a load of themes coming out in january so without further ado let's get straight into it and hopefully this video isn't too long but before we get into all the new sets this is an article provided by Rebrickable. I am so happy Rebrickable put this together. I started working out some sort of slide for it and the slide actually crashed when we got to about 130 different images. So thank you Rebrickable for having a complete article, 207 sets across 29 themes and that's every set to come out. So it does include the Animal Crossing line and the Ornithocopter, which the more I say it, the more I'm getting used to say it, but there are quite a few interesting things in this video as you can see cars is making a return to lego we've of course got the traditional new year sets and a heavy look at space throughout friends creator technic city they're definitely leaning a lot on space this year but as i said first we can have a little look at my mocks rubricable is where i put up all my mocks that i build and then you're able to buy the instructions buy the pieces and there are quite a few I'm building my collection, most recently Vader's TIE Advance, which I haven't made a video about yet, the video is coming in the new year, but when you're on Rebrickable, you can see these instructions cost £3. If you go over to Inventory, it actually tells you what the rest of the model will cost. £35.94 if you bought it right now on Rebrickable and have the pieces delivered to the UK. So you're actually only looking at about £39 for Vader's Advance and it does scale up to all the other ties, especially the ones that I've built, all the minifigure scout versions and actually I think it looks pretty nice amongst the others of course. I'm yet to build it in person, hopefully I can pick up the tie bomber over Christmas because this is a full alternative build if you look in details. It's an alternative build of the tie bomber if you do have the set, all the pieces you need will be in that pile and no gongs were harmed in the making of it. So be sure to head over, check out all my mocks on Rebrickable. And if you like any of them, feel free to support the channel. And thank you to everyone who's already bought some of my mocks. But today the focus is on sets, so let's waste no more time. Animal Crossing I've already covered. We do have Maples, Pumpkin, Garden, Polybag. And actually I think the Polybags have been added to this site. So i try and point out any of the poly bags. I'm looking at buying every poly bag for January next year and reviewing them in one massive video. It's going to cost a lot, but I hope it will be worth it. So stick around for that. We do have one Brickheads for the new year so far, and that is Spring Festival Mickey Mouse. There are rumours of a Stitch Brickheads. There are rumours of a Sonic and Shadow Brickheads to go... No, Knuckles and Shadow to go with Sonic and Tails. So... It's nice to see they're still working on the brick heads. And honestly, if you do collect brick heads, I am very sorry. It looks like we'll be getting quite a few in the new year. I think Star Wars is even meant to have some towards May, much like last year. So we'll probably get a Phantom Menace collection. That's really what would make sense with 25 years of Phantom Menace. But honestly, anything is possible. And I'm sorry for any of your bank accounts if you do collect them. But we also have two traditional Chinese New Year festival sets. The dragon looks cool and this family reunion definitely should have been more of a modular set because I think that just would have reached a wider audience and sold a bit better. But there is also a calendar that comes with a dragon boat that we might see later on in the video. Now here we have two more poly bags, the hover bike and the off-road buggy car. Again, thank you to Rubricable provided not only images but pretty large images at that of course. I've tried to move my face over so you can see all the images clearly, unlike the last idea set. But we've got a load of the smaller £9 and up to £12 sets. The green race car, the go-karts, which do look really cool. We've got the construction steam roller. The blue monster truck looks amazing. I really want to take a small Lego car 
add some giant wheels on and I just think that look great in the Lego City. A few of the bigger sets we've got the ambulance and the snowboarder which definitely January loads of people going on holiday to ski to snowboard definitely makes sense to include that ramp there and I think it'll be more popular next year when Christmas is coming up just for people building winter villages. Uh, we also have the burger truck, which looks really cool. I like the theme of the, I think it was the slushy van. We've also got an ice cream van. They're very nice how they build them sort of vehicles. We then have a rescue helicopter, a car carrier, a few fire sets, which I'm going to briefly go over and take a look at so you can see them because not everyone's interested in them. Likewise, most of the rest another nine pound set in the space construction mech and we now have all the police sets in between as well this mobile crime lab does look pretty cool but then we move on to space which rather than being its own theme like it was back in the day is now a subsection of in particular the lego city line a few aliens using plant pieces new gem pieces which do look really cool it'd be nice if they were a bit glittery but there are quite a few monsters and aliens and city folk around here the modular space station does look cool and i believe the technic sets actually come with little airlocks and accessories you can attach hopefully to a technic version of this that will be coming out some point soon we then end with the city salvo and that moves us on to the classic sets just loose bricks there are some quite new pieces i think the classic set that i still have boxed just down to my right actually has some exclusive translucent pieces which are new and they look really cool so there are definitely some good pieces in this a lot better than there used to be as they're getting their own exclusive pieces and of course we have the city cmf minifigures a closer look at all of them the noir detective which does look really cool the train kid which does come with this exclusive printed dish for 25 years of the lego cmf series and funnily enough also lego star wars no correlation but they just line up quite nicely we also have the pet groom which comes with i think a new dog mold and there's also a goat mold which is being brought back no printing on the side but nonetheless it's lovely to have the goat mold back the sprinters got an exclusive 2x2 tile. A lot of these are coming with more exclusive printed pieces. And we've got the reuse of the Demigorgon legs that I think have since been used for a werewolf in Harry Potter and a few other minifigures for this Harpy minifigure here. So it's really cool. I'm printing on the Triceratops, the Harpy, and a few of the other minifigures. The LEGO CMF series are just amazing. And I think every time I go to the LEGO store, every time I place an order, I'll definitely be picking up one of them. A few Lego creator sets here. A poly bag. Actually, these are actually all three of these are poly bags. The gift animals is a three in one dog and two other builds. Likewise, for this iconic red plane, two other builds. And the animal birthday party isn't a three in one, but does look pretty cool. The penguin, the elephant, having a party, some birthday celebrations is always fun. The red dragon is a smaller set, so that will come in a box. Some good pieces, some really exclusive pieces for his nostrils. So if you're interested in that, be sure to grab it. Creator have actually smashed it out of the park this year. We've seen a few of the images already. Here we have the official images, the retro camera, the flowers in the watering can, the retro roller skates. They all look really cool. And this space astronaut is actually a giant mech because there's a little control pad underneath that golden dome of a helmet where you can sit one of your classic space minifigures or really just any minifigure you choose this giraffe is so detailed they use i think the carpet pieces the rounded corner two by fours which which give most of the spots but a range of other pieces among it and i really like the flamingo build it just all looks really cool of course with the hamster set which is a three in one in fact i think quite a few of these are three in ones i know space astronaut can also be turned into a spaceship or a space dog which has a real funny face the tropical ukulele looks really cool i really like the surfboard build for that set the exotic peacock and the return of daffodils which are slightly built different in their heads the way the shield pieces that act as the leaves are held on is a bit different so i suppose it's probably a bit stronger especially now that the botanical line in general has a bit more 
few more flowers that are out. They're a bit more experienced with it. So over on creative, re-release the daffodils. It sort of makes sense, especially with the little update piece. And keeps a small, cheaper Lego flower set on the market if you're not interested in any of the bigger botanical sets. Now, Disney only has one set at the minute. I think this really belongs in Disney Princesses, but it's for their new movie, Wish, which is yet to come to Disney+. Plus. But I'm excited to watch it, and I really like this little star. So I'll definitely be picking up this poly bag. And there's another poly bag for Aurora's Forest playset. Comes with two little animals. I think it's a squirrel and some sort of... I'm going to go with dog. I have no idea what this creature is. I'm sorry if you do know. An awesome printed leaf piece. And this does actually spin. It's quite a cool set and has a little printed mushroom at the bottom. We then have a few more smaller sets. We've got a mini Ariel's castle. We've got a horse and carriage with Belle. We've got a Elsa Frozen's tree, which comes with a little ice cream stand as well as her castle we've then got rapunzel's tower and the snuggly duckling tavern which does look really cool and alongside the scale of the snuggly duckling we also have the princess market adventure which comes with i think that's cinderella aurora ariel and tiana so that is a really cool set a nice water fountain in the middle and honestly that would go really well with rapunzel's tower so that's all for the Disney Princess line, which is more of the Lego doll side than minifigures. We have five dream sets. We have Matteo's Off-Road Car, which is a smaller set again. Not a poly bag, but it does come in the smaller box, so it would be a bit cheaper. I think that's probably about £9, £12. We have Izzy's Narwhal Hot Air Balloon, which looks cool. We then have Mr. Oz's Space Car. We have Zoe and Zian the Cat Owl, which... It's the one that we got leaked a while back in the image. I think it was an image of a corner of a magazine or something. So it's nice to be seeing an official image of that. And also comes with quite a few minifigures. And of course the Sandman's Tower is the big one. Which you can switch between a weaponized and sort of more of a passive mode. Which awesome play features nonetheless. Now Duplo I'm going to glaze over. As I don't think many of us are fans of Duplo. But we do have the return of lego cars mac at the race and we haven't seen a lego car set for a while this is sort of lego saying cars is still about based on how popular this seems to be not as far as people buying the set but people talking about lego cars i've seen so many videos made just talking about the return of lego cars it'd be great to see some sets in the new year i don't think there's a fourth movie coming out but it'd just be great to see some classic maybe an icon set come out for cars one two or three probably around the first one would be quite nice as we got a load for the other sets but just with mcqueen mater and maybe even sally and doc hudson it'd be great to see cars return at some point a few other themes dotted around and we do have a poly bag my first duck which for anyone that doesn't want to buy a big set and just wants to introduce their kid to duplo or perhaps already has some and is looking for a little set to buy Here's a poly bag. It should be fairly cheap. Should be around 350, which is what all the other poly bags is. Of course, that's in the UK. They tend to be about five dollars overseas in the states and similar conversions worldwide. But they are very, very hard to find. So do let me know down in the comments if you are struggling to find them. Hopefully, there's someone else that could give a bit more information as to where they find their poly bags. For Lego Friends, Loader Sets, Flower Garden and the Mobile Music Trailer are poly bags that I'll probably end up picking up. I'm not a fan of these dull minifigures, though it does look like there's some baggy trousers on this minifigure. That would look really cool compared to the uh, much more skinnier legs, which I just feel are a bit too different to minifigures for my liking. But again, some nice animal prints, some printed butterflies, which are really cool. We've also got the Hamster Playground, similar to the Creative Set. And a bunch of space sets stargazing. We've got a Mars base. And they're sort of sprinkled out throughout all the themes. Of course the Heart Lake City shopping mall comes with a new banana. Which we will see later on in this video. It does come in another smaller set. So you might be happy to hear about that. We've got a bakery. We've also got an accessory store. And it's just the typical friend sets you expect to see with a few of the bigger ones. These homes are really nice and honestly I'd love to see a few more city sets like this, even creator sets like with the Main Street set we got this year. And there's quite a few good sets if you're a fan of Friends, 
this modern mansion might also draw your eye but on to the key rings spider-man group ghost spider or gwen and loki it's the old loki not the new one and we do get a fairly newish group from this year spider-man with the arm printing and of course gwen from the spider-verse movies which is really cool I think we already have a Miles to go with her, but I'm not too sure on that. Six new sets for Harry Potter, the Flying Ford, the Giant Hedwig, which is a bit between the Hedwig scale that we got for the one with the wings that fly and also the minifigure one. It's sort of a midi Hedwig, so it makes it nice and cheap for new people. We've then got Hagrid's heart, which is a 360 degree heart with a little doghouse there. And the boathouse and owlery do look really cool. The Magical Creatures, I think, is a bit expensive for what it contains, but there's a load of glow-in-the-dark and special pieces, so it's definitely worth its money if it interests you, but I really do like, first off, all the owls they've included in the owlery and the snow or mess that they've included inside, and the boathouse is, again, a pretty cool set to expand your Hogwarts collection. The owlery is definitely one that we needed in LEGO, but... The boathouse, I'm not sure we probably could have done without, but it's a nice addition nonetheless. Of course, we already know about the Ornithocopter that's coming all the way in February, but we do have a look at the Bouquet of Roses, which does look very nice. It's not the first time we've got roses in Lego form, but a load of fairly new pieces that look to be created more or less for these flowers. So it's great use of pieces. Jurassic World, they do have the Dinosaur Rescue Center we've seen before. We have seen the T-Rex skull, but I'm actually looking at picking this up in the new year because this looks really cool. It's definitely worth your money. A new one is this Fauna collection of the Macau parrots, which took me so long to pronounce. So you probably didn't see any of that. I'm going to cut the rest of it and make it look like I got it first time. But Macau Prap, Macau, Macau Prap. It does look the first of many in terms of the Fauna collection. I'm not sure if Lego Art have released any previously that might have gone under my radar and I've missed. But I think this is the first one. They are more of 2D designs that you can hang on your wall. So you can't really stand them around anywhere, which is a little shame. Perhaps it would have been nice if they gave you an option of a base. But to try and support that, especially the yellow one on a small base, it is nearly impossible. So it's nice that they've made them able to hang on walls and... I'm sure you could just apply a command strip to the back of it and Velcro it on your wall instead because Lego doesn't tend to be too heavy and normally if you get one or two command strips, it will support it for as long as it needs. Now, another new set it was recently announced on Lego Ideas, the Polaroid One Step SX700, which I think does have different nameplates compared to if you are in the States or if you're in Europe where it's been given a different name but it comes with three printed plastic slabs for the photos it's not card it's proper plastic bricks and they do look pretty cool it's a nice feature of popping it out when you take the photo it also comes with a case for the polaroids if you don't want to store them in the camera because the whole mechanism sort of relies on a rubber band which if you pre-load it and just leave it that rubber band will just wear down over time so they recommend you store it in the case, but nonetheless, it's quite a cool set for LEGO Ideas, and it's very nice to have got a Polaroid. Now, Minecraft has a little set in this Steve Desert exhibition. I think it's the first time we're seeing this LEGO camel, and we've also got the return of the Phantom. Not really much change. A new design for the cactus. We've got a campfire, a crafting table, a little tent, a little water source, and of course, Steve has a brand new expression. I'm not really sure what the expression is he seems to just i don't know if he's been crying if he's wet his eyes if he's exhausted but he seems to have a blue strip across his face so i'm not quite sure what's up with that but it's nice to be seeing a new steve face likewise alex in the armory set has a brand new expression as well and the armory actually links up to the never portal and the animal sanctuary can be joined to the turtle beach really you can join any sets you want but they're the ones that are displayed in the images and we also have the Frog House, which is, I think, the last big Minecraft set. It's all right. There's a bit that probably they could have done differently. It's a bit weird seeing the big gaps at the front and back of the frog. But I guess it's down to them how they build their houses. And it does look pretty cool. We get a brand new frog. And if you're a fan of the frogs, it is good. But the best mob they have 
put in this January wave is this Nether Hog here. It's much better than the first design. They've got the colours right and I'm just happy to see Lego consistently improving, especially when it comes to Minecraft because you get mobs like this Gas, which is pretty much unchanged from the last version and really there's nothing they could have done to improve it. We also have a Minecraft Legends set which comes with some colourful mobs, some very different mobs. It looks like a skeleton villager. I don't play Legends. I have no idea what that's about. But there's a Steve um, Baby Panda poly bag I'll be picking up. And Steve with the armor stand and blast furnace, I think, is actually one of the poly bags that comes in the magazine. So I think that's coming out for January. Interesting to see that on here. That might be a gift with purchase for some people, or they might have other ways of bringing it out. But obviously, in villagers or abandoned villagers mostly. Where you see the blast furnaces in game that is an armor stand so it's a cool inclusion to have both of them it's just a shame we didn't get new expression for steve much like the alex one that doesn't have him tearing up and on to monkey kid we have a mini mech which i think is quite expensive but there are quite a few pieces that go into it and a cloud that he can stand on we then have another creative vehicles i think this year we got a three build which included a mech and two other vehicles we got another one for January for next year and it's really cool to see. I don't know if they'll both be sold at the same time or the other one has retired. Perhaps it was released last year rather than this year. Another giant mech which Monkey Kid are really good at. I got a video coming out after the fan vote sets for this year of my personal favourite top 10 sets. Honestly I think a Monkey Kid mech can definitely make it on that list. So subscribe so you don't miss out and if there is a Monkey Kid mech then I guess my opinion hasn't changed much and you can comment that you already knew it was going to be there. But we also got Megapolis 5th Anniversary, which is really cool. You've got the wooden duck, you've got the space logo in there, you've got so many different Easter eggs. And it's really cool to be getting more giant cities like we see with Ninjago, which is the next theme. Loads of giant cities. We've got Pixel vs Viper, again another magazine poly bag or... Actually, I think they're tins now because they used to do them in plastic cases and getting away from plastic, you actually get a limited edition tin with a magazine. It's amazing from Ninjago, but it's interesting why it's on this list. Another poly bag, Saints Dragon Power Vehicles. It is a two in one, might be a three in one. Pretty sure it's a two in one. Looks to be a great poly bag and I really like the poly bags that you can build into different things. Some great pieces here, nothing special, nothing exclusive, but... A few uncommon pieces that I definitely will make use of in the future. Now the mechs for the smaller builds aren't exactly mechs. They're more gliders and they're dragon gliders. But we do get a ton of mechs in Ninjago. So let me have a quick drink before we get into all the mechs for January. And we'll kick off the mechs with this battle mech 4 plus set. It does look quite cool. I'm not a fan of the legs, but for younger LEGO fans, it's really awesome that they get to build mechs and enjoy them just as much as we do. And we have the first Battle Pack mech. They've beaten Star Wars to it, and actually that's a good idea. I might turn one of the old LEGO Star Wars Battle Packs into a mech. I'm going to jot that down after this video. But we do have Jay's Battle Mech here with a Lloyd minifigure, I think, and two of the villains. It's a great battle pack. It is priced about the same. I'm not sure if this is £9-12, but it is what we'd love for a Star Wars battle pack to be. I wouldn't be surprised if this even is £18. We then have a giant bulky coal mech. Very reminiscent of the Knuckles mech, actually, with the size and stature. And I wonder if we don't get three Star Wars mechs next year, which, honestly, as far as my list is, where Luke's mech is hopefully going to be in the set numbers, there's two right before him. Hopefully we can get some more Star Wars mechs. But if we don't get any other Star Wars mechs. Because Lego haven't confirmed anything yet. I'd love for Luke's mech to be this bulky mech. Perhaps like have an X-Wing coming out the front. Turning the X-Wing into a mech would be something as well. Many videos to come in the new year. Be sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any of them. And drop a like if you have made it this far in the video. And are still watching. This is going to be a very long video. I am dreading what the January 1st video is but thank you all for your support and if you are still watching there are a few mechs for Ninjago and it's sort of mech focused the January wave which the designer has actually well one of the designers have actually come out and said it's very mech focused for January and that will change later on so who knows we might get a modular phase for Ninjago next year but 
there are some really cool mech designs and they all seem to be built differently not just like the star wars or marvel way of building mechs so that's really great from the ninjago team there's a few other sets of course we have the brow bricks we know about there's a hedgehog picnic day and also a spring animal playground and they are to replace the fun time polar bears the winter time polar bears i can't remember the name the cat and the mouse and the pumpkin halloween set and we've also had the valentine's love birds i think it was and there was another one i can't remember it but i do have it to review so you'll see them in the new year there might have been another easter one i can't remember what it was but these are sort of the new ones for that and we're actually meant to be getting poly bags for a sort of summer and easter style of set like this i think it's like a rabbit with colorful eggs but they will be coming out later on in the year so i'll give you more information as we find that out we've also got some cherry blossoms which do look really cool they sort of time with the other botanical collection and especially with spring coming round it's a great time to add them to your flower collection now here is the calendar i said about earlier with the boat with the dragon's head it does look really cool you can display it either on the boat or use the boat for your lego city and I'm not sure it's exactly going to float but it is quite a nice boat piece some nice waves splashing up at the side and would make a really nice rowboat for your city and of course sonic another poly bag Kiki's Coconut Attack, which does look cool, another Sonic mob, and it would be great to see more Sonic characters like this just in poly bags, but obviously over time we don't want too many of them. Shadows Escape and Knuckles Mech we have covered, though you can see just how big Knuckles Mech is, it definitely looks like Coles we saw for Ninjago. Speed Champions have these three new cars which we've already covered, there is supposedly a fourth coming at some point, so if the images have come out, I am recording this Christmas Eve, they've come out in the two days before this is posted i am sorry but i'll just edit the image on the screen now star wars has three sets two sets and a poly bag the aat does look cool and gives everyone high hopes for an aat set a ucs set might be a bit too much i really would like an mtt ucs set with all the droids they can fit in it but hopefully we'll get an att aat this year and it is in this phantom menace style because this year we got an X-Wing, UCS X-Wing last year. We got a poly bag that related to a playset we got. I really do think we're getting an AAT at some point. We also have the Battle Pack. Of course, I've covered that. And the Crimson Firehawk. I don't think I've shown that off on this channel. A little stall. Another speed up for Narbs. And comes with the Firehawk itself. Similar price to the first set. And also comes with the little droid that we see using a similar head to bb8 so it's a really cool set it's a four plus set and i don't think i'll be picking it up because i've already custom made nubs but i might custom make the other two characters especially if i've got a spare bb8 laying around but that is all from star wars it does look a bit bare but hopefully the rest of the year especially towards may we get a few more bigger sets a few more phantom menace sets for 25 years and just 25 year sets in general i think they are holding back for may because obviously may 4th star wars holiday and they'll be very very popular it also gives them a special time away from the typical january release but everyone that's a fan of clones are most likely going to be picking up this set so at least we have something to build in the meantime superheroes does have a few there is a poly bag which i thought i saw lego reveal and i haven't seen it since so I won't be mentioning it, but there is meant to be a superhero poly bag. It might be releasing later in the year. I'm pretty sure I've seen an official image of it somewhere, but my bookmarked page has been taken down. So they might have put it up too early. We've got Spidey vs. Green Goblin, which I think there's also a car, similar characters, Spider-Man, Gwen, and a venomized Green Goblin. But this is, of course, the non-venomized Green Goblin. We have a bigger playset, both four plus sets. Now this is the set that I'm really interested in for the new banana mold. It does look cool. It also comes with a venomized Doc Ock, which I don't have a Doc Ock. A venomized Doc Ock would be great. A Venom Mech, I'm sure, isn't the most popular choice. We've already had a Venom Mech, but they have included Moles Morales with it, which will definitely make it more popular. If we can honestly get some more minifigures in the mechs, a mech with two minifigures would be amazing. So hopefully Lego are here in this and they'll include Wedge Antilles with the Luke one that we might be getting next year. War Machine is also good. The minifigures are a bit lacking. There's not much 
weaponry on the minifigure but they have definitely decked out this mech with stud launchers and accessories everywhere so they've done a good job with that we get official look at rocket's warbird versus ronan of course rocket crashes his warbird into ronan at some point towards the end of the movie doesn't really do much but it's great to see another ronan minifigure it's not as detailed as the last i don't think but i really like the headpiece it's using the new Ahsoka, Hera, Palpatine eyes where they're just one solid colour. Well, not quite solid, but just the one colour eyeballs. And I really do like that design. We also get a new rocket with the gear from the first movie. So that's really cool. Again, we've seen this. We get an extension to the No Way Home, Far From Home. I think it's No Way Home movie set, which comes with an exclusive lizard, Electro, a big Sandman build. Loads of people were disappointed that... Sandman was only represented as a hand in the first set, so it's great to see Sandman get his own build in this set. And pretty much a whole set built around him. We've also got an X-Men X-Jet, which is actually related to the 97 series, the old classic series from the 90s that has been brought back. With the first time we get this sort of Magneto, big M across his chest, no helmet, and I really do like it because... The other sets are out there if you're a fan of them and one day I wouldn't mind them bringing back the X-Jet with the classic movie figures that more people are used to. I guess not the classic ones but the movie as they are definitely popular characters but for the first time we've received the animated figures in Lego form. It's a really great set and I'm sure many people will be picking it up. Unlike the Rocket and Baby Groot I think it's sort of taken out of proportion how hated this set is. It doesn't look bad at all, but I do think the teeth are a bit creepy and there should be a way to close the mouth fully, give it a bit more of a cuter face than the grit teeth. And another helmet for Marvel in Spider-Man's mask, which comes a bit late because we're just getting, I think it's either Ven I think it's Venom's helmet that is retiring on Venom's mask. But Spider-Man is mostly made using these two big pieces on the front, which are printed I think that takes a little bit away. I would have liked to see them brick build the web, but perhaps they tried and there's no way they can get these angles. So perhaps they thought this would look better. And honestly, more people are going to buy it because of the printed pieces. So it still looks very nice. It's a shame that by the time this set is out, Venom's mask would have retired. It would have been nice to see them side by side. But I guess that's hopefully just to make more people buy the Venom mask before it retires. I just don't see how that's a good advertising strategy. But over to Mario. We have the only set I'm actually interested in. In Yoshi's excellent forest expansion set. It would have been great to get actual Yoshi in here. But we do get the first Yoshi egg we're seeing in Lego form. Alongside a yellow and pink Yoshi dinosaur. A different colour Yoshi. I'm not sure if they have names in universe. But Yoshi's forest expansion I guess is to go with the other Yoshi set. Which we're not getting in this way, but there must already be one out. So I do apologise, I don't really follow Mario. Bowser's car looks nice, especially from a displayable set. But all of these have their QR codes built in and you can play with them alongside your other Mario sets. So if you are interested, do be sure to take a look at them. For Technic, another polybag in the Perseverance, which is... Sort of a fan favourite Mars Rover, just generally speaking now. It's the one that more people will know. And it's nice to have a poly bag in memory of the Mars Rover. We've also got a bulldozer and some smaller sets, much like I think we got a snowy, like a snow plow or a snow bulldozer at the start of this year. So it's nice to get another bulldozer, a few smaller vehicles. We've got the John Deere Harvester, which looks like it's got some very important functions there or Perhaps they're just for show and I've been tricked. We've also got a motorcycle which is fairly new. A Formula E race car which is an electric Formula racing car. So that is nice to see. We then got a few of the space ones of course. The planet Earth and moon in orbit which does actually spin. If the moon spins around the Earth spinning around the sun. That is awesome and I don't know how they've made that work. But that would be really cool to see. And we also have a rover and a spaceship. You can see here for the loader, we've got a little airlock which must clip to something and we've also got this little case for this little droid here with the cargo spaceship. So they look to be parts of a bigger model. Hopefully we do get some modular 
Technic base station like the Lego City one because that would be really awesome and also gives you an incentive to buy the other sets. It's not just to look good at the end of the day. If you can get one set that combines bits from other sets, more people would be inclined to pick it up. So I think that's what Lego are doing. And that is the end of the list. So definitely a load of poly bags. I mean, all the poly bags aren't even covered in this article. So that will be a video coming out. I'm happy to see the return of cars. All the space stuff next year is pretty cool. And I can't wait to see what 25 years of Lego Star Wars will bring us in the new year. So that's going to be really great, especially coming towards May, where I think we'll get most of the 25th anniversary sets. And then throughout the year, trickle out with Phantom Menace builds. So I'm really intrigued to what's left to come for Lego 2024. This is just the start. And we've already got 207 sets across the 29th theme. So... I hope you enjoyed if you made it this far thank you so much do drop a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more content not as long as this this is a january special hopefully throughout the year we won't get as many though lego did set a record for sets released in 23 and i'm sure they're looking to break that for 24 anyway that is all for this video may the bricks be with you always mm -hmm.